Around the world, the demand for batteries is dramatically increasing. Consequently, regulations impose stricter environmental rules of battery compliance. Along with performance and marking information, chemical restrictions have become a part of the requirements. Battery compliance in Europe. Firstly, the applicable regulations in Europe are found in Regulation 2023-1542 on batteries and waste, also referred to as EUBAT-R. The regulation encompasses all types of EU marketed batteries, including portable, industrial, replaceable, rechargeable or not, SLI, starting, lighting, and ignition, LMT, light means of transport. Further, this regulation addresses a broad spectrum of requirements from safety and sustainability to recycling and circularity. Finally, any company seeking to import products into the 27 member states of the European Union must comply with these regulations as presented. Non-compliant producers and importers, including dealers and reusers, risk fines and shipping delays. This law restricts harmful substances in batteries, namely cadmium, lead, and mercury. But that's not all. 2023-1542 also provides regulations or guidelines concerning several issues, including proper labeling of battery products, financing collection and recycling programs, and raising public awareness with campaigns encouraging correct waste disposal with collection quotas. As a side note, producers cannot charge for a separate collection of disposed battery products. Additionally, the REACH regulation with its list of substances of very high concern and its restrictions under Annex 17 is another applicable EU obligation to batteries. Regulation 2023-1542 is similar to the directive it replaces, namely 2006-66 EC. However, the emphasis leans toward substance restrictions and labeling requirements toward a circular economy. Examples include designing products so that users or professionals can easily remove and replace portable batteries, holding restriction levels of cadmium and mercury stable, restricting the use of lead to 0.01% by weight, providing performance and durability information under certain conditions, issuing a CO2 footprint statement under certain conditions, extending labeling requirements for chemical composition, extending labeling requirements for collection and disposal, additional labeling requirements for product information, capacity, and non-rechargeability if applicable. Additionally, the EU BAT-R is a regulation, not a directive. It means the EU member states must apply it as is without national transpositions. Therefore, the implementation practices are the same between all member states. According to the EU regulation 2023-1542, several environmental labeling requirements apply to batteries, including the following batteries that contain more than 0,002% cadmium or more than 0,004% lead should bear a label with the appropriate chemical symbol, CD or PB. Beginning on August 18th, 2025, all batteries should have a marking with the symbol for separate collection purposes. This symbol is similar to the one per the WE directive. From 2026, batteries are under the CE marking obligations. As a result, manufacturers must affix the CE mark, adhering to specific requirements based on battery types such as carbon footprint disclosure and performance thresholds. Starting on August 18th, 2026, batteries must also bear a label with general information, including the manufacturer, the battery category, the date of manufacture, month and year, the weight of the battery, the battery's capacity, any hazardous materials present in the battery other than mercury, cadmium and lead, any critical raw materials, for example, cobalt, lithium and natural graphite, present in the battery at a concentration of greater than 0.1% weight by weight. For SLI, exclusively used in vehicles, including cars, RVs, and trucks, LMT, mostly used in electric bikes and electric scooters, and rechargeable portable batteries or secondary batteries, the label should contain definite capacity information. Particularly, non-rechargeable portable batteries or primary batteries must bear a label including a non-rechargeable tag and information on the minimum average lifespan of the battery when used in specific applications. Starting on February 18th, 2027, all batteries shall contain a label with a QR code providing access to the following. 
the LMT, batteries, industrial batteries with a capacity exceeding 2 kWh, and batteries for electric vehicles, the battery digital product passport with manufacturer and CO2 footprint information, etc., for other batteries. The applicable information, the declaration of conformity, the report, and the information on waste battery management and prevention. For SLI batteries, the concentration of cobalt, lead, lithium, or nickel recovered from waste and found in active materials in the battery. On a side note, suppliers can print all the information on batteries, their packaging, or the accompanying documents as a last resort. Other regulations for full battery compliance, manufacturers must provide the end user with instructions on the location and safe removal of batteries. Additionally, it is mandatory to register the annual quantities of batteries placed on the market. You may also need to subscribe to waste treatment compliance schemes like WEE regulations. Such separate battery waste management is mandatory and producers must finance it under the Extended Producer Responsibility EPR. Finally, producers and importers may also have to appoint an authorized representative, AR. Are you ready to know more about battery compliance and secure supply chains? Contact Enviapass and talk with one of our experts.